I gotta stop in here and get some gas. Uh, it's April 15th and I'm going turkey hunting again this morning. I went Saturday morning, which was opening morning, two days ago, and I got my bud handy to me. Uh, but today's gonna be uh, today's gonna be special, guys. I got uh, I got Jeremy's ground blind in the back. I'm hunting with a guy I've never hunted before with, and I'm on a piece of property I've never set foot on before. So uh, only thing I got is a uh, waypoint on Onyx, and uh, I'm gonna try to get to the gate where I need to park at. So I'm super excited. Um, his name's Kelly. I work with him. Um, and let me tell you something, guys. You cannot beat this dude. He is a veteran, 27 years retired Army. And uh, he's an awesome guy. Um, I were actually work with a bunch of veterans there. And um, each and every one of them, man, they're, they have a, worth, a work ethic that is unlike anything that I've ever been around and uh they're respectful i mean you can just tell they're they're the real deal guys you know and um i just want to say thank you to all the veterans out there all the active men and women that serve in our military god bless you i love you without you this country wouldn't be what it is today i don't care if uh if you're a navy seal or if you're a cook on a naval ship somewhere without you this country wouldn't be what it is so god bless you and thank you for what you've done with that said, let's go kill some turkeys, guys. Uh, <laughs> we're going to cut one's head off today, or at least that's the plan. Kelly, he uh, he bow hunts them, and he uses those guillotine uh, broadheads. I don't know if you've ever seen those. Look them up. They're wicked looking. Uh, basically like a field tip with blades coming out the sides. Um, and he aims for their heads, guys. He's going to cut their heads off. I got the old Remington 870 in here in case, uh, in case two comes in or in case he misses. Um, I'm gonna try to try to take one down. So uh, here we go. Hey guys, I made it here. Um, I'm only about 25 minutes early. Waiting on Kelly. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this jacket. It's my dad's jacket. It's his army jacket. He got 1979 when he enlisted in the army. He's a teenager. Uh, 40 years old. This jacket is 40 year old this year. Uh, they don't make jackets like that. At least not for civilians. Man, this jacket's held up pretty good it's got a super heavy duty zipper on it i don't know if you can see that it's bad lighting in here but um pretty awesome coat man and got the hacker patch on it u.s army i don't know what this patch on the arm means but uh, he said that when he when he got this jacket in 1979 when he went into basic that he kept this jacket the entire time he was in the army they would just change the patch out i guess if you moved up or whatever so this jacket has been uh, from Texas, well, from Kentucky, I guess, to Texas, to um, to Germany. I mean, it's been all over the place, guys. So pretty stoked to have this jacket. Um, I never get it out of the closet, but I thought, you know what, this morning uh, might bring me a little little good luck. Um, Saturday, those turkeys kicked my butt, man, and I needed a little, a little something to change it up this morning. I thought, I'm hunting with a... Uh, army veteran i wore my dad's army veteran jacket i said we might uh we just might chop one's head off this morning it's about uh about 42 degrees this morning wind chill got down about 35 that's why i got all these clothes on my gear ready my boy kelly's here it's about to go down So your power went out last night, man? Yeah. It was off when I got in there. That wind was awful. Guys, I'm hoping you can see this. That's my buddy Kelly right there. Do I need... I guess I could help him, though. Just me and the adjacent landowner shared this room. Oh, yeah. Those are all I'll leave for later. We'll try them. Man, here's some awesome decoys. Look at these guys. I mean, that's that's no 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 dissing primos because that's what I got. That's no primos. <laughs> it's just blowing up right now so it doesn't get flat. That's awesome. You know, I didn't know those blow up, blew up like that. Yeah, I got a little release valve in here. 
<laughs> the one I have, <laughs> you blew up from Walmart. You just <laughs> blew it up with your mouth and a little blade of grass poked it, poked a hole in it. I love the color in that, man. Yeah. You think those are all hand painted? I doubt it. But nah, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'll think about it. Happen. That's what happens with old age. Hey, I hear you. <laughs> Rocking the PSE. I, I believe I got two different types of broadheads I'm using. So you're using the guillotine? The and guillotines and then the muzzy. And the muzzy. Man, that uh, that shot placement is it always confuses me on them turkeys because, you know, the way they move and the way they puff up a little bit when they start to strut, you can't really tell where the kill zone is on them. Hey, when I'm out moving around, they were See, that's something I gotta get me a leafy suit or you know a ghillie suit. <laughs> it's not the new ones anymore. These are all good. Yeah, I like this is Cabela. Wish I had a sponsorship. Pretty much uh, wraps this day up. Me and Kelly's gonna get out and do some uh, some walking and calling right here. He's gonna show me his property. And, um, hopefully, you know I'll have the GoPro on. So if we, if we kill one, we'll uh, we'll skin her out real quick for you. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more stuff coming on Live Hunt and Company. Peace. She hear me. Crap. Well, <laughs> well, I stepped out of the blind. We're going to go down and get the truck. And uh, I had to take a leak. And Kelly goes, don't move. <laughs> There's a turkey right across the hill there. So I froze. Ended up being a hen. How far do you think she was there, Kelly? Let me range her. Right the road. It's 220. Hard to tell why it dips down like that. That turkey was 220 yards away and she seen me through some bushes and then she <laughs>
Man, they got good eyesight. They do. That's what it is. Turkey's got that eyes and ears. If uh, if they smell, if they had a smell like deer, we never get, we never see one. Why can't we all cold? Man, it's it has to be in the 30s still. Is that a is that a feeder somebody's got up over there? What is that? A stump? Oh, is that a stump? <laughs> you mean that stump? <laughs> hey, look, look, guys. I'm sorry. It looks like a looks like a feeder or something. You mean that stump? <laughs> That turkey, that hen was right there walking down that road. This is the field, so we're set up there in the ground blind decoys. And we heard the, the toms gobbling this morning in this field. And uh, Kelly said, he said, they'll be in that cow field there. He said, they'll come up. They won't come up this way, the high side. They'll come up the low side and, and peek out right there. And sure enough, that's exactly what they did. They, uh, they didn't come up the high side. They come down the low side. And that Tom was trailing that hen. He was dogging her like a buck deer. I had never seen nothing like it. I mean, she wasn't, she didn't yelp, she didn't purr, she didn't do nothing. She was about, I don't know, 20 yards ahead of him the whole time. Wherever she went, he went, followed exactly the path she took. I guess he was, uh, I guess he had loving on the mind. Well guys, we got the blind tucked down and um, Kelly's getting his, getting ready to get his decoys there. and. Um, Lord willing, we're going to try to come back maybe Wednesday. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Kelly and uh, for allowing me to come hunt on his property. We got really close, 56 yards, 57 yards. Um, that hen took that tom down the hill instead of up the hill. Uh, Kelly had his bow ready to draw back on him. But I just want to thank Kelly for letting us hunt. Guys, if you could do me a favor, please click that subscription down below. Like this video. Um, please follow us click that notification so you can stay up to date on the stuff we do around here please go to instagram and facebook and follow us on there too guys we greatly appreciate it uh, we hopefully will have merchandise you know ready for sale coming up pretty soon just uh i love you and god bless